This video shows the block commutation of a multipole brushless DC motor. In this case, an EC32 flat motor. Based on an animation, it shows the schematic design and explains how the torque is generated, or in short, how the motor works. First, we have a look at the design. In the center is the stator with its three phase winding. In this animation, with six stator teeth, two opposite stator teeth belong to the same face. The three digital hole sensors in blue are located between the teeth in the stator. The hole sensors are used to determine the rotor position. The feedback signal of the hole sensors has a high level at the magnetic north pole and a low level at the magnetic south pole. At the lower left, there is the signal sequence diagram for the hole sensors, which you can find in the Maxon catalog. The rotor of this EC32 flat motor has a permanent magnet ring, with alternately four magnetic north poles in red and four south poles in green. This is called a motor with four pole pairs. In this starting position, the hole sensors give the following signals. Hole sensor 2 provides a low level due to the near south pole. Hole sensor 3 provides a high level due to the near north pole. Hole sensor 1 just switch to a high state. For this signal combination and a clockwise rotation, the commutation logic applies the current to flow from phase 1 to 2 and powers the winding accordingly. Symbolized in our animation with a small plus and minus sign. The current in the stator T produces magnetic north poles in the stator T of phase 1 and magnetic south poles in phase 2. The repulsion of identical magnetic poles and the attraction of opposite magnetic poles generates a force that leads to a torque in clockwise direction. The rotor starts to rotate. After a rotation angle of 15 degrees, the hole sensor tree starts seeing the south pole and its output changes to the low level. The commutation logic switches the negative voltage of the DC power supply from phase 2 to 3 and allows the current to flow from phase 1 to phase 3. As a result, the magnetic south poles disappear at the stator T of phase 2 and form new at phase 3. This is a good thing, because the north poles of the rotor are not opposite of the stator south poles. This would only give a magnetic attraction, but no torque anymore. With the current through phase 3, a larger angular distance between the poles and, therefore, more torque is generated. And the rotor continues to rotate. This same process is repeated every 15 degrees. After a fuel commutation sequence of 6 intervals, the rotor has covered just 90 degrees, 6 times the commutation angle of 15 degrees. This is the main difference between a multipole motor compared to a motor with one pole pair. The commutation angle equals 60 degrees divided by the number of pole pairs of the rotor. For this EC32 flat with 4 pole pairs, this results in 15 degrees. In other words, in order to achieve the same speed for a multipole motor, the commutation frequency must be p times higher than for a motor with one pole pair, p being the number of pole pairs. Up to these points, we have shown the commutation step by step. In reality, of course, the motor runs continuously. Now you know how the block commutation of a multipole brushless DC motor works. 
On our website maxengroup.com you can find more information and videos, such as the commutation of two-pole DC motors. Thank you and goodbye.